Hello and welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. Are you really? I am. Uh, you look really different. No, I'm not. And, uh, and you're you, not. I'm. I look. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry to say the same. Uh, I look like uh, Eugene Levy, obviously. Yes, of course. I'm Michael Mandel, though. And this is our 10th anniversary show. And we're on going, the Las Cruces Channel. And we're going to do it all like a telenovela, aren't we, Mark? Well, this is our 10th like show. That. I think we have to do this very seriously so that they know we feel like we're doing the show. Like 10 years, we are old. That is how old we are. See, we have a cake. We have a celebrating cake. Celebrating our 10 and years. We're, we're going to light it so that the uh, so we could smoke up the studio and see if we can really work it out. Don't say we have to redo this because it's not going to work. <laughs> there we go. Here we do it. Happy birthday to, to you, us. us. Yes. Ten, ten years old. Ten years on the air, the longest running program in Las Cruces history. Pretty much. May, that's still going. It is also and another special thing. What's that? There. He's trying to see how big we are. It is Mark's birthday the day after uh, the first day of Negroni Here, Week. Allow me to light this. Oh, see if you can light that. Yes. So Mark's going to be one year old, as he is every birthday. There you go. One year old. Every day is the first day of your life, so you're actually not even one year old. That's true. We could either blow these out or wait for the fans to do it. What do you think? Well, the fans are going to just going to make them burn. And quicker. if this says 101, it's also the hundredth birthday of the Negroni, and today is the the final Negroni sequence that we're working on. Yes, we're we going to do. We've an been, actual Negroni. We've been sequencing the Negronis, the evolution thereof, all all month. Look back over your, today our YouTube things. This is the culmination, the climax. Let, let's blow these out, because... There we go. If Frankenstein comes in, we're in trouble. Uh, all right. So we've been doing this show 10 years. We I've only been, been doing it, what, nine and a half, eight years? Yeah, about eight years. Something or like something. that. Feels like 10 years. <clears throat> but, you know, that's how it works. So those of you who started with us in the beginning, Four weeks ago, we did the Torino Milano, which was merely uh, Campari and a sweet vermouth mixed with uh, on ice cubes. Now, the second week was the Americano, Americano, where you put uh, soda water in your Torino Milano. Interestingly enough, this is a Koki, Amer Koki, Americano. Koki Americano vermouth, uh, and it's from Torino. So we did the Americano. Mm -hmm. uh, last week, we did a jump forward to give people an idea of the potential of the Negroni before we got to the Negroni, which was the Negroni Spagliato. The Spagliato. I'm glad you can remember all this stuff. And uh, I could be lying, you don't remember. Um, the Spagliato means the wrong Negroni or the mistaken Negroni. Oh, yes. When the guy who was a bartender reached for the gin, he picked up Prosecco and put in Prosecco. And he said, wait, 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 I made the wrong thing. The guy who was drinking the thing said, no, man, this is pretty good. Not bad. And it is pretty good. Prosecco and the two ingredients for Negronis. Sure. So Sparkling. this is the actual Negroni. We start Ooh. with the, we do, oh, a little napkin. Uh, Beef Eater is really a good uh, gin for Negronis. London Dry. Yes, and it's got more juniper than people like to do Tanqueray and Bombay, but they're kind of. Those are good. Let gins. me just say wussy for this. It doesn't Ooh. have enough muscle. I you see. know, you have the sweat of somebody. Not beef. Never, beef, those guys are standing out there in the hot sun of England in, in hot coats. This is uh, sweet vermouth. And bitter Campari. The old Campari. Bitter Campari. Which is hard to find around town in certain bars. Uh, yes. When we first started our Negroni Quest. Week <laughs> festivals, we uh, went around to all the bars in Las Cruces, and we found Negronis in how many? Just a few. Three or four, five, maybe. Five, maybe. Five. Now there's more. Now we have... Uh, We've turned Las Cruces on to the Negroni. We right? obviously have. We have. Si Senor uh, sponsored Negroni Week last yes. year. Uh, this year we have the new uh, Amador. Amador they, they're into they, it. We got them going on it. Yeah, we forced them to. They knew how to make it, which is pretty good. Yeah. We had to force the guy at Sunset Grill. Joe. I won't mention his name, though. <laughs> no, he, I he, used to kid him about not happy. being able to make the groomies. He's happy to make them now. Yes. This is... The traditional Negroni is whatever you want it to be. It's the same ingredients. Sometimes you do it in a, a glass of rocks with uh, yes, old-fashioned. This time rocks. it's shaken, not stirred. We like it this way. I do anyway. Oh, you like to shake, make a lot of racket. 
I do. And uh, it's nicer to drink a drink out of a martini glass. You see much more delicate and uh, <coughs> now, sophisticated. You know, Michael, besides this being our 10th anniversary, uh, this is also the first day of summer. My God. Yes. It's like everything at once. The first full day of summer. Friday was the technically first day of summer. At Friday noon, Eastern Daylight Time, when the sun is directly over the, the uh, Tropic of Cancer. Oh my God. Tropic of Cancer. Here we go. Negroni. It is perfect, isn't it? It's pretty good. It's bitter and sweet at the same time. As well as juniper. Knits it all together. Mm. After, <laughs> after the uh, intermission, we're yes. going to do something that Debbie Levy invented last week, which is a, a Negroni, what do we call it? A spray, a fizz. We're going to bullet size it. We're going to mix it with ice cubes <clears throat> and drink it that way. Her husband loves it that way. No. Tom, I won't mention him by name. Oh, no. yes, right. Tom. Uh, <clears throat> now, well, this is the weekend in which summer is introduced to the world in, nor in the Northern Hemisphere. Yes. It felt like the summer. Uh, for All months, weeks. Yeah. yes. Triple digits sometimes, and uh, certainly up in the high I'm, 90s. I'm going to eat cake here. <coughs> Have some cake, Michael. That's what Marie said. Now, you know, this, the uh, city has added a new department within the police department. Oh, great. Yes, they, they, the You mean not just the, the fun department, because the city is starting all these uh, concerts and has all these dance things and the bars that they own. Is that the city department of fun? No, this is city. This, this is, is a different. This is not the city the department of fun. These are the new police service aides. And uh, they will be going around and handing out parking tickets. But you know, the parking scenario downtown is soon to change. Oh. It'll be two hour parking only uh, during business hours. And if you park uh, two and a half hours, you might get a ticket. And these are the guys who are going to be walking around doing it. And you know, they hired three full-time and oh three part-time. And you know they're all going to be in competition to see who they can get, write the most tickets. Right, because that way they'll keep their job. They hire three guys, one guy leaves, the other guy, the other two guys stay. And so, so we, if you do the thing of two hours, what they do is they go through the whole thing and mark up tires with a little yeah. line. Yeah, put some chalk on it. And if it's there... They come back two hours later and it's still there. Still there. Right. Of course, if you park there for an hour and you got a chalk mark and you went someplace else in town and then came back... And you have the same chalk mark. Then you're screwed. Now, also, they'll be giving out uh, tickets for, like, you know, unauthorized handicap parking, uh, parking by a fire hydrant, parking the wrong way, you know, pointing the wrong direction. Anything they can get a ticket on you for, they'll do it. You know, because... Six people, they're all going to be competing to see who can write the most paper. Uh, so, also, they'll be filling out uh, reports, like oh, non-injury accident reports, to free, up, to free up the cops so they don't have to do all the paperwork. Oh, so the cops rush over there with their sirens and everything, and they say, this isn't worth our time. Get the guys in the, in the, little, yellow shirts. In the pansy outfit yeah, to do it. Right. Not that I'm denigrating them, you know, by that. So, uh, uh, anyway. How do we get a ticket? So that'll, you'll see those people uh, around, mostly in downtown area. I and, and is that not uh, odd? Because we know that if you try to get a parking spot uh, near the Amador uh, complex, yes. it's impossible. I was there last Friday. The entire parking lot to the north was full. Ooh. Really, it was really surprising. Because they had a concert of big people there, little yes, Joey little Familia. Joe those guys, yeah. And, and there was no parking left. I had to actually park in a parallel parking spot. Oh. But I parked per perpendicular because I'm that kind of guy. Now how about across the street where the old county courthouse building was? Could you park there? I think so, but I think you have to run across more traffic. Well, you'd have to run across Amador tra uh, yeah, Street. Yeah, uh, it wouldn't be that great. On foot. You could. There is a lot of parking there, but really, <laughs> it's, it's not dangerous. Close. So. Now, also, but don't worry, we're getting a multi-tiered uh, parking structure. Yeah, that'll take another six years. And uh, optimist, they'll probably charge for that too. Optimist, of course, you have to make your money back. Well, uh, no, you know, there's certain towns that don't charge. For Actually, that. you're right. Santa Fe does. Palm but, Springs doesn't. Yeah, the what's that town in Arizona? Uh, Phoenix, Tucson, no. Mesa. The other one starts with a P. Phoenix? No. Poco Raton. <laughs> Pocahontas. Uh, P yeah, in Arizona. What's the name of that town? Petaluma. They, uh, they had a, anyway, they've got a nice parking garage there because there's not enough parking in their main business district. Free parking. People who stay in the hotel nearby. They park it? They park it. Oh, that's pretty good. They have 
Well, El Paso, you have paid parking almost every place. They have that parking structure that you pay for. Yeah. So, but if you're going to a restaurant like uh, Anson Eleven, you can get your ticket st stamped and virtually get it for free. Yeah, well, Just in right. case you're if thinking about those type of details. I remember when Las Cruces had parking meters. They're not gonna put parking meters here? Ah, uh, they better not. Oh man. <laughs> you know why they can't? Well, they, if they do put parking meters, it would have to be uh, credit card based. It has to be digital because nobody has change, right? These I, days, everybody I has. I, I'm not gonna pay to park 10 minutes with a credit card. No, what you do is you leave your car running uh -huh. and run out. And then come back and hope it's there. Yeah, exactly. Now, don't worry, those cops are there. They'll stop anybody. As is usual, New Mexico, being the way it is, is usually it's a way. first in all the bad things and last in all the good things. And that, and that, uh, that came to fruition this week when New Mexico was named last in childhood well-being. Yeah, but it's not our first time being labeled last. last. We've oh. done it before. No, we're constantly last so we're, in all the good you things. You know, I think competition is way over uh, valued. I think we have to value being first in something. Well, and we're first in uh, the lack of child yeah, care. We're first in childhood poverty. Yes, education, safety, health, all well-being. Yeah. So we are first in being last. New Mexico, New Mexico. You know, somebody has to do it. it. Just we take the brunt of it, and we can afford to do that because we're living in New Mexico. So we don't care. We're kind of happy. Uh -huh. We don't have to worry about that stuff, do what we? Do what do you mean we? Well, you were educated here, so you do have to worry about that. Um, but don't worry, it shows. Oh. Now, also, the deadline for people who want to uh, uh, report clergy abuse is upon us. Ooh, in fact, I, I gotta go. I, some, I gotta make a call. In fact, in fact this, that, I gotta this, call. this this month is the deadline. Uh, do I have the rest of the month for you, you might if you're lucky. Yes. Um, I don't want to say anything that will jinx me. Yeah, New Mexico is one of the worst states for clergy abuse uh, among children. You, you never hear about uh, rabbis. Um, who knows? Well, the Baptist Church back east uh, has been getting into a lot of trouble. Finally, people are finally coming forth to report these things. They were afraid to do so. Same with the Catholic Church. They're afraid to report these things. It's against God. Yeah, yeah uh, abuse think. is. Yeah. Abuse is, but also the, the priest is holy. So it, He's hey, a holy molester. There's also the guy who had a sex cult who mm -hmm. was forcing women into having yeah. sex. And uh, it called, that's like, it's a cult. Oh. <laughs> that too. Yeah. Now, also, did well, you know well, that uh, the school board has approved five, almost six million dollars for the Las Cruces school buses? Yeah. Because some of them are kind of, well, they're 10 years old, some of them. They need maintenance. And uh, also. Well, that's a classic school bus, isn't it? Yeah. It's supposed to be Rapley. Also, did you know. The Columbia Elementary School, way on the north end of Las Cruces, has to now have those children bust to the south end of Las Cruces to Centennial High School because the school is toxic. So they say that all that busing back and forth is going to cost $92,000 for the school year. God. Good thing we have the money to pay for it. So now, obviously, we're not the poorest state in the union. You know, Maybe no, now we, we will be. We are. We are. So let's take a break right now, a birthday break. Happy birthday to us. And we'll be back with Negroni number two. Yes. Spritzer. Call Mark Goldstein, the safe money guy, at 575-556-2472, to learn about innovative strategies now available to help you grow, protect, and preserve your money and financial future, regardless of market conditions. Hi, welcome to Alcazari. It's our happy hour sushi fest. 
we placed our top sushi rolls on special from four to six dollars. And our ice cold draft beer is only two fifty. Have a California roll, banderito roll. Sit at the floating sushi bar and the kids eat for only two dollars. From two to five, Monday through Thursday, located on University in the Pan Am Plaza. It's our happy hour sushi fest. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Come to Tacos El Borrego de Oro in Las Cruces. We are celebrating $1 Taco Tuesdays. Come enjoy authentic Mexican food for the whole family. Bring the family to Tacos El Borrego for $1 Taco Tuesday and Flauta Thursday. There you go. So great. You can do all these different things. Here, do it like one. Okay. Nice. Hey, guys. Not all. We are back to Double Talk, our anniversary holiday show. 10th anniversary of the show, 100th anniversary of the Negroni. Yep. Birthday for Mark coming uh, on the 24th, so send him your presents now so you get there in the mail on time. Yes, right away. And we're going to do the Debbie Levy version of the Negroni that her husband loves, which is a summertime version, a little spritz. It's like a pina colada, except oh. you're using all the ingredients of a Negroni. And the big ingredient is what? Ice cubes. Okay, like a margarita, so a frozen yeah. Negroni is what it is. So we'll see. Okay. She speaks highly of it. Hope I don't know what the proportion of uh, ice to drink is, but I'm going to guess. So, oops, too much. We'll Darn your luck. Throw some of that out. Put it in the ice cubes. If you're going to do that, Michael, do it with a gin, would you please? What? Too much? A little bit too, too much. much? Yeah, yeah. That can't hurt it. No, because these are actually these if you like a toxic. double if you do like a double gin Negroni. Yes, uh, double eagle does it. Oh, they just double up on everything. They double they double up on your gin, including the price. Uh, but only one waitress knows how to make them, and that's how she makes them. <laughs> double, double gin, and it comes out lighter. Is her name D? Yeah, D for double. She's double a, D. She's a double D. You'll recognize her right away. You know, and this is your job, Mark. This next thing, yes. Right, the over. mixer is on your side. Oh, look at that. We have some specialty graphics there. Now you put it in and there you go. And off we go to the racing. Oh. How uh, frozen do you want it? After that annoying sound start, stops. Okay. Is that, uh, no? That's, is think, that enough? I think we're there. Okay, we have this strainer so we could use that. This is good for a hot weekend afternoon when you're sitting outside at your ranch. It's great that the strainer fits right in the there. The strainer is really good. It's made for it. And our ranch? It, they have a well, ranch. Your they ranch. have a ranch. Oh, their ranch. The, the people who invented I, I'm this a farm. drink. You do? I have irrigation and everything. Oh, really? Orchards are surrounding me. Okay. Mm. Oh, well, looks nice. Looks nice. Looks it's nice. A, a light color. A little like ice shards. That's quite refreshing. Wow. I think I prefer this. You can knock this back pretty Tom, hard. you converted um, me. You did it. And Debbie. Debbie invented it. Tom Thanks, Debbie. just enjoyed it. Because Debbie doesn't drink Negronis. Oh. She's a martini gal. Well, I am too. You're a martini gal. I'm a martini, martini gal. gal. Always have been. You know what else she likes? What else? Well, we're talking about drinks now. Yes. Uh, corpse Reviver number two. Mm -hmm. Do we ever do that on the show? I think we have. Okay. We've revived all the corpses. There are to revive. Mm. 
Okay, we have uh, hey. important local news. Did you what? know that if you if you buy a car this month, you pay three percent sales tax, state tax. If you buy it next month, you'll pay four percent. Forever, it, yep. it from, just went from that on. So, okay, so everybody who's thinking of buying a car, do it now. Yes, because uh, that make make uh, prices. That's well, good. They're, they're, is it because oh, we need money to fix the roads? They intend to raise fifty-two million dollars for road improvements. Well, that's what it should do. That's one percent of the tax is going to get fifty million dollars. That's uh, yes. Well, that, if, I'm having more of this. Case. If cars sell sell the way they've been selling, they estimate fifty-two million dollar windfall. Well, state. that'll be good. Hopefully, they don't use it for things well, like graft. Well, the more expensive the car, the more tax you'll be paying on it. Well, you pay more for everything on that, right? You pay more tax all the People around here like their pickup trucks, and uh, those aren't really cheap anymore. And those use a lot of gas, and they are really yeah. hard on the road. Well, they're... This is a good take. I don't want to diminish the fact that it has uh, high fructose corn syrup. You don't want to diminish the fact that it has? Yeah. You're proud of the fact that it has. I, I think that that makes it really good. This has high fructose corn syrup. No, it doesn't. How do you know? Because they don't grind ingredients. I know. You know? That's the one. I know they, they don't. Any alcoholic beverage in... does not have to put the ingredients because it's, it's an alcoholic beverage. Right, they have, but they, they could still lime. have a high fructose corn syrup. They could. Rose's lime juice does. It's not alcoholic, so they it's have to put the ingredients say, on it. Yeah. And it's made with lime juice, though. Yes, now. Um, oh, so we have an entire list here. Michael, we, did you know? No. That's that why I come to this show to find out lost, about things. We've lost, people read this. We're all about food and drink on this show. And Las Cruces has oh, lost yeah. another restaurant that's been here for, what, 20 years? International Delights closed down once and for all. Sad to say. They were going to close down last month on the June 15th, and they said, no, we'll stay open. And they closed on June 15th after staying open for a while. Well, people came in and increased the business. And they said, uh, we don't want you to leave. And they, there's other... Negotiations going on. He's mentioned yeah. a little bit about minimum wage going up, but the guy did say there's other things yeah, involved. Yeah, like the construction along the street behind them. They lost a lot of money then, but the construction's caused, over. And behind them, subway, subway went out of business. Subway went out of business. Right behind them. I like that subway. Same, yeah. There's a lot of good tar in the tuna salad. So, uh, but he may open up a, uh, he's going to open up, open up a little shop of Middle Eastern products and going to put a little cafe in there. On South in, Solano. Where he already has the Aiden uh, Market. Yeah. Where is that? You know where that is? It's near, it's just, I think, north of where Coas Bookstore's oh. uh, little thing is. He needs to get a bigger sign, I think. Wow. Yeah. Signage. You know, you need publicity like us talking, right? That would help. So go or, to Aiden. Or put an ad on, on the Las Cruces channel. Many people, We've saved many a restaurant on this channel. Yes. Because yes. we don't have any minimum wage. Yeah, so now the only place in town to get... Uh, Really, Middle Eastern Greek food is you can't Santorini. Say and? Where else are you going to get a falafel? Tip Tiffany's. Tiffany, can you get a falafel at Tiffany's? Yes, you can. They're Mediterranean. Well, that's good. They're Greek. They're Greek. They do a good chicken. I like Tiffany's. They do. Me too. They do good stuff. Uh, Santorini has great uh, falafel, great hummus. Mm. That's what counts, hummus. They also have a fatouche salad to die for. Mm. The thing about the fatouche salad, it is made with... Um, Bulgur wheat? No, it's got this great... Uh, uh, vinegar in it. The vinaigrette? Really good. Yes. And does it have uh, a little cheese in it? It's, no, it doesn't. Feta cheese? Oh, feta cheese? I don't think it does. But it's no. got sumac in it. Oh. The flavoring sumac. And people say, you mean poison sumac? No. And just like ivy, you need an ivy before you can make a poison ivy. I before see. poison sumac, you have a sumac. Yeah, sumac. sumac is a great Mediterranean uh, spice. Yes. And it, they, it's the only place I've ever had it. Mm. Well, it sounds healthy. It. It's which, great. Which leads to the new Health and Fitness Expo going on today. Oh, man. Saturday at the Farm and Ranch Heritage Museum. Right. And we will not see you there. Why not? Are you going? It's free to get in. It said the word health. Then you know I'm there. Oh, yeah. All right. Is that why you shaved? It's from 10 to 2 at the Farm and Ranch Museum today only. Really? They do one for, for one day? They usually yeah, get them for it. two days. I don't know. That's one, as one day much... Day also, there's a fabric. People uh, get tired out. There's a fabric festival going on there at the same time, so you get two for one. Really, fabric yeah. and health. That's right. Fabric. Does macrame go with push-ups? Well, we all need fiber, Michael. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Right. <clears throat> so also this weekend, all weekend over in Tortugas. You're making this weekend sound is like San, so much fun. It like. is. The San Juan uh, Turtle Fiesta is going on. Now you know Tortugas, Tortugas means Tortugas. 
Turtle. Maybe tortoise. Really? I thought it means tortilla. It's going on Saturday and Sunday. And Sunday are the uh, turtle races. They have it every year. And uh, did you know, actually, Tortugas is two Indian villages next, next to each other. San Juan and Guadalupe. That's known as Tortugas. And if you are new in town, which probably half of the people in town are, yes. Tortugas is an interesting little part of Las Cruces. It's just south of the city. The streets have no sidewalks, no lighting. Very few. You can drive through the streets with your windows open and listen to chickens clucking and goats, goats spraying. spraying. Yes, indeed. And yes. Uh, it's, it's like going to Mexico without your passport. Now, also this weekend, because you've got to move kind of quickly here. Oh, do we? Uh, there's a play downtown called Glorious. The, I saw it last week. The true week. story of Foster Florence Jenkins. I was. I, I don't think it's a true story, but mm -hmm. it is a great story. And I really want to compliment Lenny Rainwater for doing. Lenny has a great voice. Uh -huh. Florence didn't. So, so I mean, she might have had a great voice, but she couldn't hold the tune. Lenny did an incredible job. At, if, those of you who think that it's about a horrible singer, the worst singer in the world. Yes. Right. Lenny Rainwater does the worst <laughs> singer, the best I think anybody could do. Well, you of know, course, Bob Dibbon is good too. In, in the film version, Meryl Streep, who is a good singer. Well, played Lenny the, Rainwater is a good singer part. too. Played the same part. Have you seen the, did you see no, the I didn't see it. I didn't either. Now I want to see it because no. it's, actually there are some, I don't, not seeing the movie, I think the, play had some interesting things that maybe weren't in the movie. I'm sure. There were some really funny things. I yeah. got now, know. also this weekend going on, we have, as usual, movies in the park. This weekend, it's Hotel Transylvania, the what animated you, film. Is that a telenovela voice or is that a Transylvanian voice? That's I can't tell. Okay. Hotel Transylvania. Transylvania. Yes. Yes. That's, that's Saturday night. And then we have uh, oh, also going, Saturday man. night, The, the Drifters. Drifters. R&B, As soul. you said, maybe not the Drifters, but well, pretty much some the of the Drifters. The picture looks like it could be We there. have no idea if they're the That's same That's Saturday night they at the Rio Grande Theater hair. at 7 o'clock. It's $35, plus the local uh, and remember retro them, remember band, them. remember them, probably be opening for them. With Reuben Smith. Is he in that one? No, no, no. He's in rock and roll. Oh, really? Remember them? It's remember them. They play oldies. Okay. My, my friend Gary uh, Gary is in there. Oh, Gary. Hi, Gary. Yes, and also music in the park was on Sunday. <laughs> and um, the Rockabilly Strangers and, and Gary, Gary Reynolds. Reynolds. Is that the Gary you're talking about? No. No, a different Gary. Gary Parker is my friend in Remember Then. Gary Reynolds from Albuquerque came all the way down. And the Rockabilly Strangers are the ones I want to see. Actually, music in the park is fun. Bring a picnic uh, no, bring supper and, drink. and bring one of those little fold-out chairs. You sit there, it's outside, it's, it's pleasant. Good. And if, you, and if you see on. Michael and I there, come up and say hello. We'd love to talk to you. We're out of time, Michael, on our anniversary show. And, and your birthday show. And happy Negroni happy Week. Happy Negroni the Month. beginning starts, we did the whole month, but Negroni Week starts Monday. Go have a Negroni at a restaurant.